What is up guys? So today we are going to go over how to do this radial blur transition in After Effects. You can only do this in After Effects because Adobe Premiere does not actually have a radial blur effect in it. But I really like this effect because it is very subtle. It definitely smooths out the transitions without taking away from the actual footage. The more I create videos, the more I like these subtle transitions versus the crazy freaking zoom transitions and such, which I do like sometimes, but I, I've toned those down a lot. J.R. Ali does a lot of blur transitions specifically like directional blur transitions. I've seen him use the radial blur as well, but this is not as common in his videos. I just saw him do it once and I was like, holy shit. That was dope. So I learned how to do it and uh, I actually use the same transition plugin he uses, which is the Baker's Tuts Easy Transition plugin. Highly recommend it. It's like 15 bucks and I use it for everything. It's in every video. But for those of you who don't have it, I'm going to show you how to do this radial blur transition in After Effects because it's relatively easy to just do manually. So what you do is take your footage. That's the raw footage. This is actually from my My Year 2019 video. Uh, I really transformed this scene, made it into this whole fantasy forest scene, 3D tracked particles flying through the air and shit, and you should just go watch it. Anyhow, what you wanna do is create an adjustment layer above the two clips that you want to create the transition over. And then you take a motion tile effect put that on the footage. So what motion tile does is it mirrors the edges of the image so that whenever, say you zoom out, it'll mirror the edges of it automatically so it doesn't look like crap. So what you wanna do is check mirror edges, put your output width to 200, put your output height to 200, and now if you were to change the scale on your image, it'll mirror all those edges and smooth it out. See, up to 200 times width and height. That's not what we're actually gonna do. What we're going to do is throw a radial blur effect on there. I use the CC radial blur, switch it to fading zoom. I always put the quality up at 100, and then you just wanna keyframe the amount. So you go from zero, and then here's the, here's the trick. You go to negative. I typically do 25 is my favorite like amount. So I do negative 25. Reason why we had to do the motion tile for this is because if we turn that off, you'll see that the edges are black. We don't want that. So that's why the motion tile is there. And then you go forward one keyframe and then we make it 25 and then go back down to zero. The reason why you do that is because the radial blur has a, a type of like zoom effect on the image because it's pulling like the sides of it. So if you, uh, if you don't make it negative 25 then 25 and just make it like 25, it creates a weird bump effect, which we don't want. We want it to be more smooth. So you go from zero to negative 25, then 25 to zero, boom. That's it, that's how you do the effect. Now, in order to make it even smoother and more pleasing to the eye, I like to add a ease out on the first keyframe and ease in on the last keyframe. Then I go to my graph editor and then I just smooth those out. So I smooth this one out a little bit, I like to pull them in a teeny bit on the edges. And then I like to come in here and then add another, um, well that's an ease in keyframe. And then for whatever reason, After Effects glitches and fucks that up. But I, you can fix that real quick. And then you add another ease in here to kind of make it like spike up to the max value or spike down in this case because it's negative. And then in this case, we're going back down. If you don't know how to use graph editor, it starts with like a zero value here on the first keyframe and then it goes down to negative 25, but it's exponentially getting faster. So it kind of just adds this like whooshy type of effect to the effect that we're adding to the footage. So it just kind of smooths it out a little bit, makes it a little more subtle. One thing J.R. Ali does is a lot of the times he will add speed ramps to make that transition even more intense. And you know me, I love my intense transitions subtly, whatever that means. Let's just add a little speed ramp at the beginning and then we'll go into slow motion in the middle and then we'll do a little speed ramp at the end. And the way I do my speed ramps, in After Effects, I think I'm gonna do a full tutorial on this because everyone always asks. Um, I, I have my slow portion in the middle or whichever like speed portion in the middle and then I do a little, is it ease out or ease in? Ease out at the end there. And then I do an ease in 
here so it's smooth throughout it's like smoothly getting faster hope this makes sense i can see why this would be confusing to some people but this essentially is just at the very bottom here it's really fast and then it slows down to the regular speed continues at a constant pace and then speeds up again that's how the graph editor works uh, if you don't understand that learn your graphs go back learn some math real quick let's do it again on the second clip and that just adds to the that transition i however think this is a little too intense um so i'm going to pull these out so it's not as fast there we go that's that's better. I, I like that a lot more. Just play around with your um, time remapping and speed ramp, and then it kind of just adds to that transition, makes it a little more whooshy, more intense. Add your sound effect, and there you go. That is it. Make sure you go check out my My Year 2019 video. It was my last video. I will link it right here uh, or there. It's, it's in one of these places. Let me know any other After Effects tutorials you want to see. I know a lot of people ask how I do my transitions. This is one I use in a ton of videos because I love the subtlety and it just doesn't really take away from like the actual footage. I was going to show you guys a clip where J.R. Ali does this in a video. I remember it vividly in my mind. It's like this one dude, he's like standing around. I'm too tall for the camp. He's like standing with his hand turned back and then he like reaches back, the wind flowing through all of this shit. And, and then he does this transition and it's like, it was so cool, but I can't find it. Yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I don't wear Prada, just bring me a white tee. I bought some my jealous. I still wear the Nikes. I roll with some hitters. I know you don't like me. I shit on you niggas. Now bring me some white You think I'm a killer. Well, maybe I might be. I ain't got no feelings. I dare you to fight me. I still with a leopard.